title slide musings about chapter five. This chapter talks about the working cell. You've got two words there, working and cell. Both of those mean something in biological terms. So cell means the smallest living unit, right? And working, what does working means? Working is activity. Working implies something or somebody doing the work. And working implies energy. If anything is working, is working um, in biology, that requires energy. So talking about living cells here, we're talking about energy and tools. Um, membranes, those are the structures that allow us to be an organism, right? So first we're going to have to say what are these structures. Um, we'll talk about energy, that's physics, we'll hold that for a moment. And enzymes, those are the tools. Those are your biological tools that actually are involved in this whole process. This is a membrane. This is the thing that makes you alive. This is the thing that keeps every one of your cells a cell as opposed to inside, outside, that kind of thing. Um, we think of cells as being these like empty structures. They're not, they're by far from empty. There's like molecules everywhere um, and see if you can identify all the parts of this um, on this image. The red dots with the white, those are water. So you've got water on both sides. What do you think those curly cues are? The straight things and the round um, yellow dots. But we're going to talk about membrane structure and function energy in the cell, and then how enzymes function. I'm going to start with membrane structure and function.